Hello, I'm Tobias Carling from the Carling Adrenal Center. Thank you for reviewing this video. You will see a completely unedited left adrenalectomy operation. The left adrenal tumor was removed in 5 minutes and 57 seconds. The patient is undergoing a left mini back scope adrenalectomy. What you see is exactly what happened during the operation. The video is unedited. It is not sped up. The patient is a 43 year old female who flew in from South America for her operation. She has a left 3.2 centimeter adrenal tumor that is cortisol producing. She has biochemically unequivocal subclinical Cushing syndrome or mild autonomous cortisol secretion. Her hypercortisolism has caused weight gain with central obesity, acne, hair loss, glucose intolerance. You can review the CT here. So a 12 millimeter incision has been made just below the tip of the 12th rib and then blunt dissection creates the retroperineal working space. Two additional five millimeter ports are placed on the direct visualization forming a triangular configuration for the endoscope and the instrument meaning a grasper and what's called a ligature device, which uses thermal energy to coagulate the vessels. A 5 mm endoscope is used and carbon dioxide insufflation maintains a pressure of 28 mm mercury to expand the retroperineal space. I identified key landmarks including the paraspinous muscle and the left kidney. As you can see here, I'm mobilizing the left kidney and the dissection proceeds carefully to expose the adrenal gland, avoiding injury to nearby structures like the renal vein or the renal artery. As you shall see soon, the left adrenal vein is located to the right in this picture draining into the renal vein. Using a ligature device, all small vessels are ligated with thermal energy. I meticulously dissect the adrenal gland from the surrounding tissues. The left adrenal vein is isolated, ligated, and divided to prevent any bleeding. There is limited or no bleeding, as you can see. Here I'm starting the dissection on the left adrenal vein. Occasionally with bigger tumors we put a clip on the vein but in many cases it's ligated just using the ligature. And here I'm using my grasper to grab the adrenal vein. We don't want to grab the adrenal tissue, but the vein is good to grab. And here I'm lig ligating the left adrenal vein. And then it is divided. And deep to the structure, sort of salmon colored is the tail of the pancreas, which is preserved.
The last portion of the operation is the superior attachments of the adrenal gland that are ligated and divided. The adrenal gland is then placed in an endoscopic retrieval bag to prevent tumor spillage. The specimen is extracted through that initial incision, which may be slightly enlarged if necessary. And you can see the gross pathology here. Thank you for watching.